Hey everybody, this is the Mud Guy, and today I have a video on how to make an RC car jump, and I'm going to use plywood to do this. I'm going to make a wood jump, and uh, before I get started, I just want to say this is how I'm making my jump. You can make your jump however you want. You can use whatever materials and make it however big or however small you want, but this is how I'm going to do my jump. Uh, I'm going to cover all the materials I use, and when you uh, talk about the tools, measurements, uh, techniques, and uh, basically by the end of the video, we'll have a completed RC, RC car jump. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say your safety is your responsibility, not mine. So do whatever you need to be safe. Wear eye, uh, ear protection, eye protection, cover your mouth from sawdust. Uh, whatever you got to do to be safe, do it. It's uh, on you, not me. <laughs> so here we go. Let's uh, get on with the video. What you do? For this project, I'm going to use a miter saw, a sander, a jigsaw, and a circular saw. I'm also going to use a pencil, a drill, a tape measure, a framing square, and some screws. My goal is to make this entire jump using one sheet of plywood, four by four foot by eight foot sheet of half inch plywood, and some two by fours and some two by sixes that I had left over from another project. Okay, the first step in this process, I'm going to cut a five foot section off of this uh, sheet of half inch plywood. Uh, basically, this is going to be the uh, the jumping area. And I'm going to use this section here to build the two sides of the jump. All right, so we're working on the sides of the jump right now. I'll give you a quick little explanation of kind of how I did it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get two sides out of this piece of plywood. Uh, once you do the first side, it's easy. You just use the, the, the first side as a pattern to do the other side. But in my estimation, I kind of came up with the idea that I wanted the uh, RCs to jump at a 45 degree angle. And to get two halves in this sheet of plywood, I decided that it was going to be uh, 27 inches high. So I measured up 27 inches here. And to get a 45 degree angle, I measured back 27 inches this way, drew two points and connected the line here. And then what I did after that, I measured the, uh, the, the, uh, the length here of the line, which came out to 38 and a half inches overall. And I decided I wanted the uh, 45 degrees to be the second half of the jump. So I bisected this little line here, which came out to 90, uh, 19 and a quarter inches, and I drew a little midpoint here. So basically the RC car will be at a 45 degree angle, the last 19 and a quarter inches of the jump. Okay? so. This point here was when we were going to start our arc. We don't want to. We don't want to have the RCs start out at a 45 degree angle. That'd be a little bit too steep. So we gradually took this this point here in a scientific technique I call eyeballing. We took this point here and we gradually swooped down to the back corner here. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, that'll give us a nice little transition to the 45 degree angle. So we launched at a 45 but we're not entering the jump at that steep of an angle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And uh, remember, you can make your design any way you want. The higher, the higher your jump, the more altitude you'll get. Uh, the uh, longer the jump, the more distance you'll get. And I I'm gonna go for altitude. I wanna really jump the RCs high. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it 27 inches off the ground at a 45 degree angle. So here we got one half of the jump, and all we have to do is use this as a pattern to make the other half of the jump, because both ha halves have to be exactly the same. Now I have two halves of the jump, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut my cross braces now. All right, I'm going to cut each one of my cross pieces at 47 inches now, so that the total width of the jump is four feet. You don't have to use two by sixes or two by fours. This is just stuff I have, le have I had left over from another construction project. You can use one bys or whatever. Uh, but this is going to be an outdoor project, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, deck screws to finish it off, and I'm going to paint this when it's done. Well, I'll start assembling this now, so you can kind of see how it's going to shape up.
to keep everything square and parallel, uh, I measured from the back of the, uh, well actually I guess it's the front of the jump to where this uh, cross piece went. So that way it's exactly, these are, all these cross uh, pieces are exactly parallel and it squares up the whole jump. And one thing to keep in mind, when you're putting your cross braces close to the actual jump platform, you don't want the corners of your two by fours or anything like that to stick out past where you, the, uh, the flat part of the jump. So make sure those are always tucked back behind there, then they won't get in the way. All right, the jump's starting to take form here. And uh, we're gonna add the, uh, the cross pieces in here that actually will, uh, you'll we'll actually screw the jump itself down too and once again you want to make sure that especially down here on where it curves a little bit that you don't want the corners of the 2x4 to stick up past the edge of the plywood so you always want to keep that down below like that flush and then we're going to measure the whole way up so these are parallel and then the whole thing stays square So I'm starting to screw the deck down here and I had to wet the plywood just to get it to bend to the shape. Actually, it wouldn't go the one direction, so I had to move it around, turn it the other length with the grain going this way. Uh, I'll just fill in with another little piece of half inch up here to complete the, uh, the, whole, the whole platform here. So I added one more nail across the top here. I'm just going to finish this off with my cutoff here. One last thing I tried to do here before I finish the jump is uh, I'm assuming over time this little section here is going to warp because it really doesn't have any kind of structure to it. So I glued a little cutoff in here at the bottom and also glued these little pieces here on the side to keep it a little bit stronger. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the construction. We're gonna let the glue dry and then we're gonna do one more thing to it. Just gonna sand this edge a little bit here to mellow it out so there's not so much of a lip there when the car hits the, uh, when the, car hits the jump. One last step I wanted to do is add these wheels here so I can roll this uh, jump around without having to carry it. It's pretty heavy now, so these will help me move the, the jump around the yard, put it out in the street, in the back alleyway, maybe even on the track. All right, so that's pretty much it for the jump. Uh, as you can see, it's out there in the street, and we got the old Timex uh, watch there, the slash. We're gonna, we're gonna test it out, so check it out. I got it. <laughs> something, something busted. <laughs> ah, I think it's just it. That's it. <laughs> All right, we got three jumps. Don't record anymore.